Well and we have here what is this device to which? We will be able to recover it in a very easy and simple way. In this video tutorial we are going to use what is a totally different method. We are not going to use the PC to recover this device. What are we going to do? Well, we always recommend watching the step-by-step -step video tutorial to be able to solve what this problem is. Let's go and we're going to connect to what is the Wi-Fi network for. To be able to start the process since our device. We had previously added what was a screen lock and formatted it. But we always had the Google account. If that is your case then we recommend you. Watch the video tutorial step by step until the end. Let's connect to a Wi-Fi network. Well, let's click here where it says accept. We accept it and first of all we will show it to you since our device has a screen lock also with the forgotten account. For that we are going to use in this video tutorial what is a method, as we had told you, totally different from the previous ones. We also have additional methods also in the video description and in the fixed comment has several methods, as we said before. This before, eh, when we entered into what was in politics and privacy. We could share that information from our phone and it gave us the option to share but on some devices that is no longer available. Working for those devices that no longer work with this video tutorial. You will be able to solve what that problem is. But first we're going to give it a tour so you can see that it's completely blocked. We are going to give it here where it says do not copy. We click here and then it would take us. What is the screen lock of our phone? Now we are going to click here where it says use my Google account. Ready, as we had said. What are we going to use to be able to enter this phone? We are going to use what is a keyboard and an OTG. We are now going to use a computer keyboard. We are going to use what is an OTG to introduce it here and we are going to use what is a locked SIM card with a pin code and to remove it. For those people who suddenly cannot use this we have three totally different methods in the video description and in the pinned comment. Well, that said, what we are going to do now is introduce what blocked zinc is. With the east on the phone. We are going to introduce that blocked SIM card, we are going to withdraw it, we withdraw. We are going to introduce one. SIM card that has a pin code. This is to be able to access our phone. Let's introduce it. Now we introduce what is EH the cable. Now what we are going to do is when we enter the emergency call let's dial the emergency number. We're going to hit enter quickly, emergency. Let's write the emergency number according to your country. Then they will hit enter when it loads what is Google Maps. Let's wait for that Google Maps to load. Let's wait for Google Maps to load. Let's dial another emergency number. And we will wait. We hit enter, you know when we add EH. As you can see, we didn't click there, so let's try again. There we have done it for the second time. Now we're going to try it for the third time, we're going to try it for the third time. Let's dial again. We hit enter before it starts, ready, we leave it like that. Now what we are going to do is remove the SIM card. To remove the zinc at once. 
Now what we're going to do is disconnect it, turn the screen off and on. We're going to turn it off, we're going to turn it on. Ready, we're going to click here where it says jump, we click there on jump. Now we are going to select any of these options that appear here on the screen. Here we are going to click here where it says share. Here we get several options, we can select Google Chrome. We click on share Google Chrome and it seems to send us nowhere. What are we going to do? We are going to give it here where it says message. New message. Here we go to write any number. We click on send. Here we are going to delete everything and we are going. Write www.youtube.com. There is this one already in these options. This may be outdated on YouTube. If YouTube is outdated, we will explain it first. We're going to click here, we're going to click on it and we're going to quickly give it on the screen. In some cases you may give us access when we click on any side of the screen. We click on it, we move the screen to one side so that it appears here. We click here on the search engine, we click on the search engine. In some cases, you may be prompted to update YouTube. If this is your case, you need to update YouTube. To do is to reformat it and return to this point again. Let's see if it lets us, if it lets us in, we'll go back with just one click. Leaves us, then we're going to give it to one side, to one side. We give it the three configuration points, it already gave me access, why did it give me access? Because in some of the cases the internet was a little slow and it didn't give me the option to update. YouTube and as I also quickly gave the screen I clicked on the screen. So that's why I didn't get the option to update YouTube. If you get to update YouTube then what we have to do is redo it. To format and do the same process again, for the second time you do that, EH. The device will give you what access is. We are going to put what the joint is because it seems that is not focused well. Let's see if it focuses properly. Now we're going to click here where it says accessibility. We enable this accessibility option. Then we click here in control. Then we click here in configuration. Now we get here where it says accessibility menu. Let's enable that menu. Click on it. Ready, it's enabled, we go back. One click back, we click cancel, one click back. Now what we're going to do is click here on the last option. Then we click here where it says politics and privacy and would take us what it is to Google Chrome. We are going to use a Google account, we click here. Now we are going to write baby cell as we will show it on the screen. We give it a search, we saw Davicel. Let's see, let's wait for it to load, as we had told you. The internet is a little slow. Let's wait for it to load. Well there it is, David EL appears after I type device L. This option will appear below, which says Android TV. After that Android TV option appears. Ready, we're going to click on the first option. N that appears here, we are going to click on it. Now it would take us directly to what is our official page. Then it will take us here to our official page, we will click here and understand. Okay. Now what we're going to do is go down. We're going to go down and look for the latest entries. Here in the last entries we will find this option that says David CEL apps die sell applications in the same we are going to click. Then it would take us to what is in this section. 
Here we have many methods for those people who. Those who also want to apply these methods will be able to find them here. We're going to go down. We are going to go down since our R. The internet is a little slow, well let's do it. Fissiars in the first entries this Google map to take us what? Is the Google Maps application to wait ready now that we? Go here to Google Maps and this little ball that is here will be enabled for us. We are going to click on that little ball, then we are going to click here where it says configuration then we will give it here in notifications we will enable those we give you notifications here except we go back then we click here where it says location we are going to accept it here but let's say that in your case if it doesn't work out it doesn't matter don't worry leave it like that then we'll click here where it says accessibility we enable this accessibility option. Then we go back and give it configuration here. We will click on Google localization and it will take us to this section. Then we are going to give it here that says application permission. He leaves us, if he leaves us it doesn't matter, we leave it like that. Then we will give it here where it says all. We're going to click here on all of them, we're going to click on the three dots. We click here where it says show system here we will see Google services. What we're going to do is disable those Google services. But we see that it now allows us to disable Google services from here. If you let us disable from here what we are going to do is go here to this one. Lupita and we are going to write here. Battery battery and we will delete letter by letter if it doesn't work out. Then you will click on this option that says battery usage of applications. We are going to click, then it will show you this option. That appears here and you are going to click on the same option battery usage of the applications. Now we are going to go down and look for Google Pay services. We are going to click on Google Play services, we are going to disable it here. We disable. Now what we are going to do is restart our phone. We will wait a few seconds until it restarts completely so that. For the people who have reached this point, I also want to tell you that we have. EH we have the session of members of our community EH on YouTube so that we. If you can support us, it would help us grow a little more. And continue EH also the benefit is that we will be. Publishing previous days in the methods we are going to publish with many. Days before the methods that we always publish on our channel. You will have the benefit of being able to watch our video in advance. Now what we are going to do is give the following. Settings again that we have a problem with the internet. Ready. Now we have to get here to this option. When you reach the last option where it appears for a moment looking for updates. That's where we're going to get to. But he's also going to give us the option first before that he's going to give us the option. Here where it says do not copy here and then it gives us the option of searching. Updates already if you are here we are in the last steps I will pause. Wait a moment, the video tutorial, since this always usually takes a while, but since our internet is a bit slow, it may suddenly give us that option. I will be telling you the solution too. Well here we are, we will give it here. Where it says do not copy here, this option will appear and we will be blocked here. As we can see, don't worry, we're going to give it backwards. Back to back here, what are we going to do? We are going to give to the three. Dots now the assistant menu is no longer functional. We click there, it will work for us. So what we're going to do is click here, where it says assistant EH accessibility settings. 
We are going to click here. We're going to click here on the magnifying glass. Here we go. Write B-teria, we write drums. We erase. We give it here where it says battery usage of the applications. Again, the option that is marked for us is battery usage of the applications and we will look for the Google Play services, here they are. Now we're going to enable it, we're going to go back, back, back gently. Mind gently back, already back. What we are going to do is click here where it says configure offline. No longer have a SIM card. We had to remove the SIM card that we had introduced to be able to give us what that access is. We accept, we accept, we click here to skip. We are almost there. We click here where it says now no, now no, now no and now no. We click on next and finish. I want to show you this. When we block, we lock the screen. Our phone is stuck to us. It's stuck to us. How are we going to solve it? Well, let's go to what is adjustment. Now our phone is ready, completely ready. Let's go to system or about phone. Here about the phone we are going to go where it says, EH system, we are going to hit reset here. Reset and we will delete all that information, it must already be loaded more than 30%. When we completely reset our phone, our phone would give us what is access, what we have to configure it. We would be left with no screen lock.